When I pull it up right beside you, I want you to go out and play with every fiber, with every ounce of energy in your body. You hear me? I want you to go out and have fun. I want you to go out and enjoy yourself. That's what this game is supposed to be about. There's an event at Artie Donovan's social club. Alright, you remember that? And I met, I love Artie Donovan. And I happened to be there and I asked you, how long is it going to take us to get the six wins? And you broke out laughing and said, I didn't come here to win six games. Were you shocked at how fast you had the success at Maryland? Well, you know, before I go into every season, <laughs> I have the kids vote on what their goals are. And the team goal that year was to win six games. And to be honest with you, I never think about winning six games. I was kind of crushed, but I didn't say anything. I went down and we won five in a row, went down, played Thursday night against Georgia Tech, which was a very hard game for me because I had spent four years coaching those guys on the other side of the ball. And George Lurie was one of my close friends. And I went through the whole roster of how we matched up with them. Of course, I made us be better. <laughs> and we won that game, and so we got our six wins. And I went in and I said, it's time to set new goals. It's time to set goals to win the conference. And I said, you know, we got we got five games left to go. I think we had 11 games that year. And the uh, next game was Duke, and we beat Duke. And then went down to play Florida State. Going in the fourth quarter was 31-31. We turned the ball over. We lost that game, which I don't think we should have. I don't ever think we should lose a game. We told the team yesterday. Don't listen to people who tell you you can win this game and you're going to lose that game. They plan on winning the next game. That's all that matters, the next game. I told them they're going to have to outcompete this team and have a stronger will in this team if they're going to win today. In the first half, I think they've done that, especially the first quarter. But uh, So to answer your question, no, I, I, didn't, I wanted to win more than six games. I wanted to win the conference championship, as I always did. So I think you got to set your goals high and you got to strive to get them. That's the same thing in life. That's what I'm trying to teach these kids. Don't set your goals low. Set them to where you want to be and then go work and get them. Viner Forgates makes your company work. We make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. What does today mean to you, the 20th anniversary of that uh, great season? Well, you know, I waited, I waited a long time to become a head coach. Tried to get this job at Maryland three different times. Didn't even get interviews the first two. So I think 20 years ago, I was able to get a job that I wanted for a long time. And if you look at the records, I think Maryland first started playing football in 1886, and they really have had four winning coaches in that amount of time, and I'm fortunate to be one of them. So to think about that, you know, I think about a lot, of, a lot of highs, a lot of great memories, especially of this team. But there was a lot of great memories and other teams too. And you can kind of forget the bad ones and just remember the good ones. Jumped in late, Coach, all these years later. What does it mean to come back and see all the lives that you've touched and see all these guys who are young men that you coached now, they have families and they still look, look up to you and they still thank you for the opportunities you gave them? Well, you know, it was really good last night. You know, you know, we had this reunion, we had a nice dinner, and then they got up and they, they kind of roasted me. And some of these guys have been waiting 20 years to tell me what they thought. <laughs> and uh, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. And uh, so many kids wanted to talk to me for really an hour. And it was just, you know, it was, it was what I miss about college football. I miss the players. I miss the opportunity to have effect on their lives. And I miss Saturdays. You know, I miss game day. Other than that, I don't miss all the other stuff at all. You know, it's even worse now than it was when I left. But the kids are still the kids, and they're a very formative age. And you do, you can have an impact on their lives. And you see these kids 20 years later, and they come up and they tell you how much you impacted their life. That feels pretty darn good. 
you know, that's that's winning in my book. So it was it was it was great. And the other thing that I think I'm more popular now among the fan base than I was when I was coaching. You know, and, and it's uh, really really heartwarming to go through the park a lot and people just go nuts that you're there and thanking you and, and wanting to high five you or fist you or whatever. You know, it's it's really makes you feel warm inside that, that, that you feel like you did something with your life, you know, and uh, nobody can take that away. Just like I told the team last night, no one can take the, the ACC championship away. I was here when we won eight, uh, in the 80s, we won three and they haven't won one since and then we won in 2001. So there's been four ACC championships in the last 40 years and I've been a part of all four of them. So that's a pretty good record, I think. Guys, the second half is starting in one. I, I jumped in a little late too, so sorry if this is a little repetitive, but um, you know, just walking in here today, you spent so much of your life coaching here, uh, but what did it mean to you to, to kind of walk into the stadium, look look around, see the environment, and just, just be here? Well, you know, I'd like to see more people in the stands, and uh, but you got to win to put people in the stands here, and, and not only do you have to win, you have to be entertaining, and um, so that's a little more challenge than you have in most places. But I knew that when I came in here. But what they've done with the facilities, and the campus has changed so much. You know, it's it's unbelievable. You know, when I see that, when I see the uh, the Jones Hill house, you know. It, they wouldn't let me practice in Cole Fieldhouse if it rained or with bad weather because they had intramural soccer in there. You know, I just I just went outside. Like yesterday, I would have been outside. You know, so I didn't have it as easy as they have it now. Maybe they got it too easy. I don't know. <laughs> when did you realize what a special time that was? You say looking back, but the football team it goes the Orange Bowl and the Peach Bowl, and then the Gator Bowl. The basketball team wins the national championship. What point? Did you look looking forward or back realize what a great time that was? Well, when we won the, the ACC championship and then Gary won the, the national championship, I think they had the most applications to Maryland in history. And I don't think I don't think a lot of the presidents here understand what a, a, a good football team and a good basketball team will do for the university. Not just putting fans in the stands, but the, the notoriety that a lot of people want to go to be surrounded by a good football and basketball team. So. I talked to the president today. I said, oh, I hope you understand how important football and basketball are because you need to give them the means to be successful. So.